Get a giant scale plane, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> All right, everybody, here we go. Time for the maiden on the Carbon Cub. So it's been a fun journey with the build. We're up here in Red Lake. We're just north of Kingman, Arizona, about 30 minutes south of the Grand Canyon. So we got a beautiful location, beautiful day. Yeah, this is our first balsa plane that we ever built, and we are super proud of it. Um, and today's the maiden. And Matt, are you nervous? A little nervous, but uh, I mean, you couldn't ask for better weather. So we're really happy with the weather. And from uh, everything I've read, this, this plane flies amazing, super gentle. I think if I can fly a micro tundra, well, barely fly a micro tundra, <laughs> I can handle a big plane. The big planes fly easier than the smaller planes. So as long as everything goes right and we've double checked, triple checked the controls. So we should be good. I'm gonna start on low rates and no flaps, so. Just kind of a you know real basic setting, and then uh, we'll go from there. But I think we're good. We got our wind sock set up, so you can see it's. I don't know if you can see it from here, but uh, I'm sure Mary will show it at some point. But I think we're ready. All right, let's go fly. All right. <laughs> right. Moment of truth. Taxi test went real good. I didn't think I would be this nervous, but I am. Anytime you do a maiden on any plane, but especially one you put this much work into, but the weather is perfect, so. You, like I said, you couldn't ask for better weather. Here we go. Low rates, no flaps. As Pilot Robert said, now we're never. So help me God. Here we go. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> All right. So we're going to step back here after I take off now. I'm just going to stand behind the plane a little here. I'll do right hand traffic. And you're probably going to see our car here in view as it's coming around. Oh, engine. Huh? There we go. Turn the throttle cut off. She's up! Flying great! <laughs> so that was less than a half throttle takeoff, guys. Low rates, I have 25% expo in. She's tracking pretty good. I don't see really any what little probably a wind gust right, or something there. So I'm just feeling it out. I'm trying to get used to this thing, obviously. Let's come around. Try not to drop the wing too much. Some people say it tip stalls pretty easily. She's flying nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> this thing's got some presence in the air. Oh, she is nice. Little rudder in the turn. That's a trait of the Cub. So you do need a little bit of rudder. Keep a nice coordinated turn so you don't fall into the turn and tip stall but it's flying great guys she's up all right here it comes let's try to do a little faster here sounds cool that was almost, yeah i like the almost full throttle the sound of the engine is not as high pitched as uh, oh yeah, the foamies and stuff yeah those are real high pitched this is just a you know a big 16 inch propeller so it's gonna be more of a it's gonna be more of a kind of a deeper tone if that makes any sense at all <laughs> she's flying good though man she is a beaut is she pretty easy to control yeah now I got the wing going the other way. So now uh, my pattern that I took off in, it's opposite. So now I might have to switch up my, my landing and might land the other way. Yeah. So let's change up the pattern. So I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy today. Like I said, it's just the maiden and I'm, you know, still a little, little nervous, but it's flying great. So I'm not gonna be doing any loops or anything today. I'm just kind of getting used to it. Can't wreck it on its first flight. <laughs> Man, it's cool. cool. All right, so this next time around, I'm gonna try uh, the mid flaps position. I want to try a low pass with mid flaps. We're in the downwind now. The wind, like, I don't know if you can see the sock, but mm, it's kind of far around on base. So let's do flaps. Let's see if my mix is any good. Flaps down. I got 12% elevator mix. Slow her up a little bit here. When we did the CG, it balanced out a little nose heavy. We are. That's a lot. We are running a 5,000 milliamp battery, so it balanced out a little nose heavy. I think we could probably drop it. I added a little weight 
in the cockpit behind the rear seat i had a little couple weights in it it helped a little bit it's still a little nose heavy i think if we went down to a 4000 milliamp i bet it would just balance out perfect so i might order a couple of those but the 5000 works you know as you can see it's flying good One. it might land a little a little hotter than normal so let's try a couple touch and goes i'm going to go back to no flaps okay flaps up 30 seconds Let's practice a landing here. Do you find that the controls are pretty responsive? Yeah, I've got it on low rates and 25% expo. Okay. 20 seconds. So I'm gonna do a longer, a longer approach. I don't need to be doing no bush plane Ten, approaches out here. We've got so much room eight, out here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, I, said, I probably have another minute of flight, so I'm gonna do, I set it for a real More. conservative time because okay. with the 5,000, I think people are saying you can, you can do like a six, seven minute flight. Some people get an eight minute flights with a 5,000. Let's go out here and we'll try a nice landing. If I get a, a nice one, I'll, I'll, I'll put it down. Got a crosswind. I don't like that. Mary, let's go. Just, I'm going to set up for a different pattern. Yeah, we're going to. Okay. Oh, I see what you're yeah. saying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely it's changed up a little. Changed up a little, so no problem. Luckily, we got infinite ways to land out here. You can do it. Oh yeah, it's just nerve wracking when you got a plane this nice that you're, you know, put so much work. Oh, that's way better with the head when you can see it's. Yeah, it's just just floating. far away yeah a little oh oh oh, a little couple bumps <laughs> couple bumps couple bumps but luckily it's got nice big you know the big dubros and i definitely could have made that prettier but let's taxi her back and uh actually i'm gonna taxi it back to the our stand because we're gonna do a battery check oh okay it looks amazing out here in the desert guys what do you think She did great. Yeah, that landing was really it good. It was horrible. I, I mean, it, it wasn't was, horrible. <laughs> it, no. I bounced it a couple times, but it does have the nice suspension and the big balloon tires. Engine off. So on that landing, because it bounced, mm -hmm. the prop did go, it oh, did it touch the dirt. Oh, I see. So well, Not too bad though. No, beech wood's a hard wood, but it did take a little paint off. I didn't notice any vibrations or anything, so nothing a little black paint can't handle. All right, so I do have engine off on, or the engine throttle cut, I should say. I'm going to do a uh, battery check. I want to see. Yeah, I have to take the battery completely out. I had about a six-minute flight on that, so let's just see what happens after six minutes. The, the balance lead is so short, I can't get it, so. Okay. But we do got to pull the battery out anyway. There we go. 32% left, so we'll uh, hit the cells. 3.79 on the first cell, 379, 379, five. So they're all 379. Yeah, 3.8, it's flipping over to them. All right, so anyway, that's basically right, almost a storage voltage. It says I have 30, 32, 33% more. So I could have flown for another, probably, probably 30 seconds, minute, maybe, tops. I have my timer set for five and a half minutes. So I'm gonna reset my timer to, uh, I'm gonna call it like 620, okay? And uh, that'll, I'll be comfortable with that for the next battery. But yeah, so let's put another battery in, take her up again. So I'm gonna try a half flap takeoff. So now that I've kind of got the feel for the plane, I'm a little, le little less nervous now, my hands aren't sweating. <laughs> We're gonna just take off half flappers. Let me come, I'm gonna taxi over here. Turn it around. It looks so cool. Taxiing around in the in the dry lake. Alright, so we got half flaps, still on low rates. I'm gonna switch to high rates in the air, see how those feel. On my high rates, I have 35% expo dialed in. Half lap takeoff, low rates. Let's see what, see what we get here. Oh, she definitely got up quicker, but I also gave it more throttle this time. 
So I'll take uh, flaps off. Flaps up. So I need a little trim. Yeah, but I'll leave it for now. It's not horrible. Full throttle right there. So it's a cub, not an extra. <laughs> but it's going pretty good. Being a big plane, it's also deceiving how fast it's really going. Once I turn upwind, I'm going to switch into high rates. Flight mode There's two. high rates. She feels good. 35%. I'm doing that bobble, by the way. I'm just testing it out. Yeah, 35% expo high rates. So, yeah, it's definitely a little more maneuverable now. But that expo tames it down. So this is actually pretty cool. I might like this better than low rates. A lot of times, low rates, it feels too mushy sometimes. High rates gives you a nice, real precise control that a lot of people like, and I, I'm one of them. Yeah, that's cool. But when I come in for landing, I'll probably put it back to low rates. Let's try a couple more. Uh, Four point zero. Let's try a touch and go here. So I'm gonna go back to low rates. Flight mode one flaps. Half flaps. Down. We'll try a touch and go. See if we can practice some landings before it's time to actually land. So we got a nice headwind here. We keep switching our direction of landing. It's my first uh, flap landing attempt. Touch and go. <laughs> oh, that was really nice. That was cool. Let's I hope we caught that. Let's try to get a touch and go a little closer to us. I'm still getting used to the glide profile on this thing. It yeah. glides forever. I know. That high wing. I was wondering why you were like It just glides and glides and glides. I'm going to have to extend my downwind. Three, but zero. my gosh, this thing flies really, really good. We set all our control surfaces to neutral like you do pretty much with every plane. I haven't done any trim. It could use a tad bit of up elevator, but nothing horrible. All right, let's try to do a touch and go here, a little closer to us, see if we can. Bottle's almost cut completely, and it's just loading. Wow, really? Loading. <laughs> That's so nice though, look at it. That was a little, a little better. A little closer to us. It's hard yeah. to really judge like, when it's going to touch down. I'm just not used to a big plane like this that floats and floats and floats. Seems like for days. Let's try it again. Let's go out a little more, but this time I'll definitely have to. Two point zero. There you go. There's the call out. We got two minutes. All right. There we go. Extended. Final. Let's see if we can get it to. Wind sock still looking great. We got direct headwind now. Half flaps. I'm just giving it little blips of throttle here and there. Uh. Oh, that, that was, was a touch and go. <laughs> it touched, so that counts. <laughs> right in front of it. That was good. All right, that's what I was looking for. The wind kicked up right at the last second. Of course there. But it, it does. Was, but it was here. a direct headwind, so that, that worked out. <laughs> that was awesome. Man, she is just a big, gentle lady. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What do you think, Mary? Yeah. You liking this so far? You're kind of oh, quiet yeah. behind the camera. You're just in awe, I can tell. You're just yeah. in awe. Well, this she just like Big, beautiful, majestic. So majestic. <laughs> big, majestic carbon beast. Flaps down. So there's full flaps, guys. So it's our first full flapper. 10, 9, Let's get 8, it on the ground. 7, 6, 5, 4. I can tell it's three, slowing down and dropping two, quicker, which is, one, what, you know, that's what flaps zero. do. Yeah. Bring the nose up a little throttle. Oh, that was nice and gentle. Look at that. So that was pretty money. <laughs> pretty money landing. Little no up, bumps or up nothing. Elevator for taxi here. Try to keep the tail down on the so we don't get a ground loop. Good job. Oh, there she comes. That was like your best landing ever. That was, yeah. That was really nice. Yeah, that was good. Look how cool it looks coming over to the, the final pad here. The 
its final parking. There we go. Throttle is safe. Well, there we go, everybody. Two batteries, successful. The first one, I just barely nicked the propeller in the dirt, but it's just it just took a little bit of paint off. There's no damage, so I call that a major success. Second battery was money. We did full flaps, half flap takeoff. We did some touch and goes. Like I said, I didn't. I wasn't going to be doing any rolls and loops today i'm just kind of shaking my nerves out trying to get used to how the plane flies but we couldn't ask for a better day absolutely beautiful wind is perfect it did shift a couple times but the beauty of being in the dry lake is you can land in any direction so you can just change your runway infinite you know landing directions so i don't got much else to say except this thing's amazing it's a big build there's a lot of work that goes into it. Changing the battery is kind of a pain in the butt, but we've got some ideas how to simplify that. Um, other than that, a huge success today. Couldn't be happier. Well, what do you think, Mary? You got anything oh, to say no. about this thing? Yeah, I, I loved building it. Yeah. Thanks for everybody who was following us on the build. Yeah, thank you everybody for just watching and commenting. Yeah, we learned a lot and um, I'm excited. I want to build another one. Yeah. I mean, what do you think? Another balsa plane. She yeah, another think, right? yeah, another big plane. Yeah, not another carbon cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Unless just... we total this one somehow. <laughs> but anybody that's kind of nervous about these giant scale planes, you know, it's understandable being nervous about the big planes. But honestly, the bigger planes fly easier than the smaller planes. They're just more stable. Wind gusts don't affect it too much. Um, but it does add a little to the nerves and that's kind of why I think people get a little scared and I was I was nervous too. I, I admitted my hands were sweating. I was shaking a little bit that second battery It's like I've been flying this thing for a while. So. Yeah, but anyway, that's gonna do it follow us on Instagram guys Yeah, we're uh, on Instagram yeah, now. <laughs> we're on Instagram now. Mary's running that so you'll be talking directly to Mary if you're on Instagram um, I usually respond on the, on YouTube. So either way, contact us either way. But thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks.